Hey everyone, how are you doing? Well, it's just me, David, hanging out, checking out the outdoors for a once. Um, it's been a long, long month. It's been a while since I've been able to get out on a trail. So, you know, I figured I would hit this trail that's not too far from my house and uh, get some sunshine. And, uh, you know, I hope uh, it'll help me relax a little bit, you know, back to work tomorrow when you know how stress is and, well, we all have stress and we all have issues in our lives, but you know what? One way we can solve it is by getting outside. Whether it's by yourself to be thinking about things you want to do in the pa in the future or things you've done in the past or outside with your family and enjoying just the time with them. I hope that you all are out there trying to enjoy the day, trying to take that um, bucket of lemons that everyone is getting lately and um, turning it into some awesome lemonade, all right? Lemonade is good, right? Especially if it's ice cold. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. See you a bit. Keeping Trail Creek healthy, the treasure in our own backyard. There's problems in the course, there's solutions just like everything in life. First, the problems were badly eroding stream banks along Trail Creek. They were flowing, they were allowing sedimentation and pollution to enter the creek, degrading the water quality in this very important fish, bird, plant, and animal habitat. Native vegetation, which formed a natural barrier along the creek, had been displaced by invasive species. Human traffic along the creek banks led to severe erosion. The land uphill from the creek had become degraded, allowing sedimentation and pollution from neighboring streets and the parking lot to run downhill into Trail Creek. But there was a solution. There was always a solution. This was done with the forestry, forestry project. The upland slope was restored with, native, with a native Indiana forest. Invasive woody species were removed. 48 native trees were planted. Large canopy trees can hold enormous amounts of water in their leaves and trunks, allowing the water to slowly trickle into the ground instead of running downhill into Trail Creek. Wildflowers and native grasses were, had returned, sprouting from the seed bank when sunlight was returned. These plants slow the runoff water from the neighboring streets and parking lot and allows the water to percolate into the soils, cleaning it naturally. Environmentally friendly fishing pads and a kayak launch were built to allow people to enjoy Trail Creek and keep the banks of the Trail Creek strong and healthy and intact. So what I'm told about this trail, which is why I found it uh, interesting, it doesn't do a whole lot of stuff through the woods. I did get a couple bits of uh, footage from in the woods, but all that does is just lead you down to the water for like fishing at the fishing pier and uh, for um, the kayak launch. Uh, from what I understand, most of this uh, was re you know reclaimed. I mean, there was a lot of problems in the area, as I alluded to earlier. Um, it's nice to see that, you know, this actual trail is actually in a neighborhood and I wonder how many people actually use it. I hope, you know, that a lot of people that live around here should get out and enjoy it. I mean, you know, I know it's hot, but you know what, what are we going to do? It's either hot or too rainy this season. And so you just got to get out and try and be prepared, you know, bring water and, you know, after you bring water, you know, bring snacks if you really think you're going to need it sunblock if you're going to be out in the sun for a long time mosquito repellent and as i said in my in my previous uh, work you always got to make sure you're drinking water even if you don't think you're thirsty because you know what once you're thirsty my friends it's already too late so here is more of the stream or i guess this is what they call trail creek and it goes in this bridge that i'm crossing that's got these like little fence lines on it it crosses over the bridge so hey I'll get some more stuff for you guys and I'll catch up with you later.